The Capital Improvement Plan, or CIP, is a schedule for proposed public improvements and purchases over a five-year period. A CIP is done as a planning tool to look ahead and project what funding will be needed. Capital improvements are projects which require acquisition, construction, or replacement of various public facilities, buildings, infrastructure, utilities, and parks. To be included in a CIP, the cost needs to be more than $15,000 with a life expectancy of five years or longer. Funding for the improvements included in the CIP comes from many sources. These include county, state, and federal dollars, bonds, which means the city borrows the money and pays it back over a period of time, and different funds through the city, including area and utility funds, park dedication fees, and grants that the city applies for. Project funds must be available before the city proceeds with those specific projects, and all items need city council approval. The 2024 to 2028 CIP includes many projects in the city. At the December 6, 2023 City Council meeting, the council approved the capital improvement plan and we'll be highlighting a few of the projects that are included. Having clean water for our residents is a priority for the City of Cottage Grove. In 2023, we broke ground on the first of two permanent drinking water treatment plants. The low zone water treatment plant is located at 110th Street and Ideal Avenue in the southern portion of Cottage Grove. The project is currently under construction and is scheduled to be operational in June of 2025. The intermediate zone water treatment plant will be located behind the central fire station off of 80th Street. This building will be bid on in the fall of 2024. The total cost of both projects is estimated to be $115 million. There is no cost to taxpayers for the completion of these two permanent drinking water treatment plants. Right next door to the low zone water treatment plant, the city will be constructing a new utilities division building to house our utilities division and engineering department. This will help to accommodate our growing public works department as the city continues to expand. This building will be constructed in 2024. Also included in the CIP is the last phase of the South District Street and utility improvements. This project extends utilities and infrastructure to an area in the southwest corner of the city and was initiated based on the development interest in the area. This project provides more efficient access, specifically to areas around Hadley Avenue, 100th Street, and 103rd Street. It is estimated that the project will be completed in late summer of 2024. The project aligns with Washington County's Southwest Arterial Study and the future County 100th Street alignment. The preliminary construction cost is estimated at $5.25 million. The road construction project at Jamaica Avenue and East Point Douglas Road will start its second year of a two-year construction project in the spring of 2024. This much-needed project will be finished in the fall and will complete the reconstruction of the roadway and two intersections in a busy commercial area. The work includes the construction of a roundabout at the Cub Foods and Target intersection. It also includes the full road reconstruction of East Point Douglas Road from the temporary signal near Taco Bell and Cub Foods to just west of Menards. Additionally, a mill and overlay will be completed with street lighting improvements along East Point Douglas Road towards the VFW. The remaining construction cost is estimated at just over $4.9 million. Also, the reduced conflict U-turn or arc cut on Highway 61 at the River Oaks Golf Course and Events Center and the Zivix Garden Center entrance is planned for construction in 2024. The purpose of the arc cut is to improve safety by eliminating cut across movements. Drivers wanting to head north towards Cottage Grove when leaving River Oaks will take a right turn onto Highway 61, enter the left lane, and then will make a U-turn to head north. The cost estimate of this project is approximately $1.2 million. In 2026, street reconstruction of 80th Street is proposed from Highway 61 to Ideal Avenue. The work includes curb and pavement replacement, ADA improvements, signal upgrades, landscaping, and trail replacement. This project will be coordinated with the work that MnDOT is proposing at the 80th Street and Highway 61 interchange. This project is expected to cost around $11 million. The multi-year 100th Street realignment project started in 2023 with preliminary design work. Depending on funding, construction is anticipated to occur in 2026 and 2027. 
The work includes realigning 100th Street from Miller Road to the Highway 61 and Innovation Road interchange, and the construction of a bridge over the railroad tracks to remove an at-grade crossing. The big reason for this project is the expansion and growth of the city's business park. There is currently a limitation that exists at the Highway 61 interchange at Jamaica Avenue, and the extension of 100th Street will provide efficient access for drivers, specifically the larger semi-trucks. This will promote more truck traffic navigating this roadway, which will help clear some of the congestion concerns at the Jamaica Avenue and Highway 61 interchange. The City of Cottage Grove is working with partnerships with Washington County and MnDOT on this project. The 100th Street realignment is estimated to cost $47 million. These are just a few of the many projects that are included in the 2024-2028 CIP. For more information related to these or any other projects included in the plan, please visit our website at cottagegrovemn.gov slash CIP.